Hi, everybody. We're talking today about the top cities for tech professionals. And Brandon, there's a lot I know in this study uh, that you are talking about here in this article, a lot of information and different things that went into this study. So just start with the, you know, some of the parameters that were, were considered, and then we'll kind of move down from there to the specific cities that were mentioned. Yeah, sure. So this is a list compiled by CompTIA. Uh, you know, if anyone has ever had a computer certification test taken, they've probably taken it from CompTIA. Uh, and this list goes into a lot of different things when considering the top 20 cities for tech professionals. So you've got, you know, the number of job ads versus the number of people employed. So kind of the number of openings, um, the cost of living, cost of living adjusted with medium salary to kind of give you an idea of how much your money's worth. And then job growth percentages over uh, a one in five year period. So there's a lot of different things that go into ranking these cities. You know, um, not things that are surprising, but a lot of different things to consider. And CompTIA presents it all in a very nice table format. So you can really kind of look, you know, side by side of these different categories and see which one fits your needs best as a professional. All right. And obviously, this is, uh, you know, really important. The timing is good, Brandon, as people are, you know, we're heading into 2020 and people are uh, considering a career move possibly and what they're going to do as far as their education and experience uh, for their careers concerned. So, Talk a little bit about the cities involved, you know, what was surprising to you on the list, and then tell us also which city was number one on there. Yeah, number one, uh, surprisingly, actually, you know, we can, we can look at the top five and see, okay, yeah, a number of these are expected, but number one was Austin, uh, Austin, Texas, uh, and, you know, it's got the best possible, you know, one in five year growth rates, uh, its cost of living index is, is the fifth best. So that means that you know you're you're getting the fifth best out of twenty in terms of what your money is going to get you in the city. Um, so it's you know it's a burgeoning area. There's a lot of big companies there. Uh, Apple, as I mentioned in the article, is getting ready to invest like a billion dollars in the Austin area. So it's really a booming place for tech professionals. Uh, in terms of surprises on the list, there's a couple cities that I thought stood out. Huntsville, Alabama, was uh, number ten, and the biggest thing that made Huntsville a destination for tech professionals. Uh, was the fact that its cost of living index is fourth, so it's just above Austin, but its cost of living uh, adjusted for salary is number one. So that means that the money you're going to make in Huntsville, regardless of the actual cost of living, the money you make is is going to go the furthest uh, in, in Huntsville, Alabama, once adjusted for the cost of living. Um, also on there are Jacksonville, Florida, and Columbus, Ohio, or a couple other cities that are you know a bit surprising, not cities we think of as big tech, tech hubs, uh, but nonetheless, they were in the top 20. Um, then the top five uh, is not entirely surprising. Maybe Austin is a bit of a, a standout there, but Raleigh, North Carolina, San Jose, Sunnyvale, Santa Clara, that area, SeaTac, Seattle, Tacoma is in there. So is San Francisco. Uh, and actually Charlotte, North Carolina rounds out to six. So not, you know, not nothing that's kind of groundbreaking there. A lot of these cities are big tech cities and they've been big tech cities for a long time. Yeah, definitely. And Huntsville is a is a surprising one. Uh, that's what makes these these lists so interesting when you actually see it and, and some of the things that are factored in. So, Brandon, as far as job seekers uh, are concerned, what are some of the different things though, that they do need to consider? I think if you're going to look at this list and use it as a way to determine if you're possibly going to move to a different city to take a tech job, uh, I think giving a look at this master table that CompTIA put in the article uh, is is kind of the key thing here. Uh, like I said, there's a few different factors that they include, but looking at the list, you can kind of get an idea of what cities are good at what. You know, like I mentioned, Austin was number one, um, but you know, it's number one because of the, the job growth prospects. Um, in terms of the adjusted cost of living to income index, it's number ten, so it's dead center. So you know, there's places you're going to be able to go that may have a little less job growth, but are going to get you a lot more money. You know, going to get you a lot more income for your for your cost of living, and they're going to actually end up being worth more money to you. Uh, so, really, I would say, you know, weighing the different factors in these in this report, and finding which one matters most to you. You know, if if you're looking for a place that may not have a lot of jobs available right now, but has a lot of growth potential, and so you're concerned maybe with landing a job in a city that you want to be in, and then hoping that that market will grow in the next few years, that's going to be something that you're going to be needing to weigh differently than say. If you're really concerned with finding a place that's got a lot of jobs, but not a lot of growth, and you just want to land somewhere, get a job, and stick with it. So really, uh, look at the table, 
look at the different factors and also read the description of the city. CompTIA gives a really good rundown of why each city should be appealing to different people. You know, uh, Austin has a very different culture than some place like Huntsville. So if you want to go to a city that's going to be hip and cool, you know, Austin might be it, whereas some of these other cities may not be as appealing to younger, you know, more trendy tech professionals. Yeah, a lot to consider, Brandon, but but great to have the information there and available, uh, you know, all there at our fingertips for those that are, are considering a move. Uh, make sure you check out Brandon's full article and the study there on Tech Republic. Thanks for watching.